Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. It's kind of small, but there's some stuff I want to share with you right now, so we're just gonna get into it while we have it. So I've got a basket with a few snacks and drinks in here. Alright, so I went to Dollar Tree to get the milk, the um, box milk. We just use this now instead of buying fresh milk, which always goes bad before we can use it. We always have this on hand, so I got a few of the whole milk and one oat milk, which I don't use for everything, but I can use it in my coffee and smoothies and stuff. I like making a tea latte that's kind of a copycat for the Starbucks London Fog Tea Latte. It's really easy. It's just um, Earl Grey tea milk of your choice and lab uh, not lavender but I do add lavender syrup and then vanilla syrup is what Starbucks uses if you're uh, curious because I hate paying for tea lattes like six dollars from Starbucks so anyways random tangent but that's what the oat milk is for um, I got these egg bites now these were three dollars they're my first and only bonus section item I've ever bought but my Dollar Tree just got bonus items and so my Dollar Tree is only in the freezer section that has Dollar Tree oh my gosh, sorry I can't talk that has bonus items for three and five dollars and then this other Dollar Tree I went to this yesterday um, is the only Dollar Tree I've been in that has a bonus section and they have just gotten it in the past three months because I haven't been going there since I had a baby so <laughs> in the past three months my Dollar Tree has just gotten the bonus section. Anyways, is what I'm trying to say. Um, these egg bites are pretty good. We tried the meat lovers, or no, this is the meat lovers. We tried the sausage and cheese kind. This one is meat lovers with egg, pork sausage, bacon, ham, and cheddar. 17 grams of protein and you get two egg bites. So it's $3, but it's still like half the price of Starbucks ones. So not quite as good, but they are still really good. I got a couple of the Jack Link's oops, uh, teriyaki flavored. I think this is comparable to getting them in a large pack. I've done the math before and I just bought a large pack of these too. Um, but I like getting them from Dollar Tree because they're convenient and they don't always have the large pack which I get from Target. And it's like $8 for a six pack so $1.25 for one piece is pretty comparable I think. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite kind of jerky. And this is the Body Armor Light, which I got the light because it's got the peach mango flavor. And they don't have the peach mango in the regular, but it's actually pretty good. This was my first time trying the peach mango, and I also got a blueberry pomegranate. Um, I'm pretty sure they had both. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't get this one from Dollar Tree. Oops. <laughs> But they might have had it. I got the blueberry pomegranate flavor from Dollar Tree and they have other flavors of body armor there so just keep an eye out. Um, the peach mango flavor is good. So was the blueberry pomegranate. Anyways, I got this from Meyer. I, I don't know why. I showed you guys. Anyways, it's all in this basket. They got their fall baskets out. Um, they had orange, red, and blue. I only got the blue and orange. This is what the blue looks like. So it's basically just their navy color. I think it's the same, kind of. Um, maybe a little different, but I really like the size and shape of this basket. I thought they'd be great for like gift baskets or just, you know, anywhere it fits in your house. They also had round ones, but again, I thought the like rectangle square shape would be better for like a gift basket so you can see everything in it. And I liked the orange color for that especially and for fall and it matches my shirt. I think this is a Maurice's shirt. I don't know, is Maurice's all over the place or just in Michigan? I don't know. Alright, more snacks and more milk. <laughs> One was in this bag. Really not a big Dollar Tree run at all. Um, we had the baby and my husband with me. Um, but they do have the Werther's Originals Caramel Apple filled ones out which are my favorite candy and I like never eat hard candy. Sorry. Um, the baby's Jackson's with my husband in the other room so you might be able to hear him right now. 
Um, anyways, I got the caramel apple ones. Those are really good. 2.65 ounces. My husband always grabs these, the Godiva chocolate domes, double chocolate. I don't think I've tried them, but I guess he likes them. Um, feels like you get three in there. Yeah, it says three. Three pieces. Okay. Now we're getting into the fun Valerie Tree stuff that I wanted to share with you. Because I'm really excited about it. I went through the Halloween section and I got some fuzzy socks because they were really soft and I'm a sucker for fuzzy socks. Uh, my sister also really likes socks and her birthday's in October so I might give her a pair. I'm not sure which yet. Probably the black and white skeletons and then I liked the bats. But they're both really soft which is all that really matters to me. But I do really like the skeletons. Maybe I should have just gotten two of the skeletons. They had stripes and like other patterns and stuff, but definitely look for these in your Halloween section. I really like these. Okay, I don't know what to show you next. Okay, these I'm really excited about and I'm so glad I found them. Um, Cause yeah, I went to a different Dollar Tree than the one that's right by my house. So I found these, I saw I think Thrifty Tiffany haul these, someone hauled these. And I couldn't decide, so I got both colors because it's a case and beauty blender that matches the case. So you get brown or like a grayish cream white color. Um, and they're coffee, little coffee cups. I'll take one out. This one's basically falling out of the packaging anyways. So I'll just take it out. And like I said, I couldn't decide. And I've gotten like the um, Easter sponges from Dollar Tree and those were really nice so I figured if it's a good sponge I might as well get both colors because you go through sponges and have to throw them out eventually. And it feels kind of similar to the texture of the egg one. I'm sorry if you can hear the baby crying. We are almost done with this. It's not very big. Um, but anyways it's a different shape. It's more like a real techniques sponge and then it just goes Right in this case here, this little coffee cup that says sassy and chic, and there's holes for ventilation. So I got both of those. I got a little planner. I usually don't get my planners from Dollar Tree, only my um, calendars, but I've just been trying to find a good little planner, and it is daily, or weekly, sorry, but the days are really big, so you can write in each day, and it's got weeks all the weeks for 2024 in it um that's pretty much the whole calendar and they had different patterns this was the only one left of this so i got that floral one we got some um, nail files they had christmas ones out so i guess starting for um, christmas stocking stuffers i might put this in my stocking because i think it's cute it reminds me of the me eloise christmas movie actually one of my favorites even though it's a kids movie um but this one is really pretty it's just a light green gingham it says you were made of magic i like the gingham and the christmas trees with the pink really pretty so i'll just probably put that in my stocking honestly like, where was that when i was looking for nail files a couple weeks ago i don't know uh, i kind of need deodorant um, it smelled really good, and I only saw one of them. I lost the cap. Okay. Still smells good. It's the Power Stick brand in lavender and vanilla, and it's aluminum-free, and it's like a clear gel, but it's a solid deodorant, not liquid. So, got that. I'm always trying new ones, especially because it's aluminum-free. I was excited about that, too, and it smells so good. Okay, a few more things here. I got a Sudoku book. I kind of like the pattern of this one. It's a bit, you know, better looking than the no ones they normally have. Yeah, that's why I got it. I think I, I'm giving it to my dad for his birthday, I believe. Which is tomorrow when I'm filming this. Which is why I wanted to show you guys this now before I give it to him. I found this book in the book section obviously that was originally $21.99 US $28.99 in Canada um, and it's just learning about different kinds of beers and it's a scratch and sniff 
guide to loving beer. So, which I don't know anything about that. And it's it's huge and thick and hardcover book. There's like little tabs about the whole like distillery process and um, this has the, the scratch and sniff stuff in it. It's very interesting. <laughs> they got different kinds and how to what temperature to serve it at. Yeah, there's like little tabs on each thing. Look, look, look at that. So I thought this was really cool and I don't know if he'll like it but for $1.25 instead of $22 I figured what the heck I try it. I didn't didn't know what else to get him. Um, and then also in the little like book word search section they had some word plays. They had an Easter one and a Christmas one there. They were like all just together and then I found this Halloween one and it's just Mad Libs but it's called Word Plays and I really like Mad Libs. Yeah, I don't know how many you get in here. Let's see how many pages. It doesn't really count. But how cool. Like this one's called the Corn Maze. The Werewolf. The Haunted House. So they're all just different spooky word plays. I'm actually so excited about this. I think this is the last item. Like I said it was a smaller haul. And now that the baby's calmed down of course. Um, but I got these window clings. I almost got two packs because I couldn't decide. They had a cute one with a little pumpkin jack-lantern with a black cat um but I decided to just get one maybe I'll go back and if they still have it I could still get the other one anyways but I've been going through my window clings because they get gross and like melted on my window so I, I've had to throw out a few um especially in the summer but Halloween ones I don't know how many I have left actually but I really like the haunted mansion and the bats and the fence is just everything and the moon the ghosts or whatever they had cuter ones in the other pack but check out your window clings I love these for Halloween um that's everything for my Dollar Tree haul today so I hope you guys really enjoyed and are having a great day and week and be getting to your school year and fall um I've got a Timu haul coming up soon I just got another package in the mail I might wait for one more package but I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned um for stay tuned for the next video i'll see you guys next time bye